Good morning kids. I hope that you have watched my last video in which we have discussed the summary of this chapter I want and started reading. Till now we have read that Once upon a time there lived a monkey which enjoyed by looking at his reflection in the pond. The monkey was not satisfied as he always wished a longer neck, big ears, etc. when he saw his reflection in the river. One day some fairies watched him and decided to teach him a lesson. So they gave a magic wand to him. The monkey wished elephant trunk for himself so that he could splash water over his body to cool himself in hot summer day before starting the lesson let's discuss some new words the first word is forest f o r e s t forest forest means jungle the next word is replied r e p L I E D replied replied means answered the next word is happy H A P P Y happy means glad the next word is scared S C A R E D scared means afraid the next word is splashes S P L A S H E S splashes means throws Now let's start reading the next page He was about to get down the tree when he saw a giraffe The giraffe pushed its neck to the higher branches Kids underline pushed pushed means to pull He easily plucked the leaves and filled his stomach kids underline plucked plucked means to remove cool thought the monkey if i have a long neck i can get the fruits i want sitting on the same branch looking at the magic wand he said kids underline magic wand magic wand means a magic stick I want a long neck. Boom. There was a cloud of smoke and as it cleared the monkey had a long neck. Kids underline cleared. Cleared means to free. Now I will explain the following lines. When the monkey was about to get down the tree he saw a giraffe easily plucking the leaves. and filling his stomach the monkey wished a long neck to eat fruits by sitting on the same branch like a giraffe monkey's wish was fulfilled and he had a long neck now let's discuss the cross questions related to this page the first question is what did the monkey want to do with elephant trunk The answer is the monkey wanted to fill his trunk with water from river and splashed it all over his body. The next question is what was the monkey's second wish? The answer is the monkey wanted a long neck like a giraffe. Now let's start reading the next page. The monkey was so happy that he began jumping on the branch that he was sitting on kids underline happy happy means glad suddenly he lost his balance and fell off thud kids underline suddenly suddenly means quickly oh cried the monkey in pain only if i had wings and so the magic wand went again boom There was a cloud of smoke and as it cleared the monkey had wings to fly he flew 
up to the branches and then flew down and then up again now i will explain the following lines the monkey was so happy that he started jumping on the branch and suddenly he fell down and then he cried he wished wings to fly like a bird now let's read the next lines the other monkeys in the forest began to laugh loudly kids underline forest forest means jungle what's the matter asked the monkey what makes you laugh so loud it is you replied the other monkeys look at yourself kids underline replied replied means answered the monkey went close to the river and looked at his reflection kids underline reflection reflection means image now i will explain the following lines when other monkeys looked at him they were surprised to see him they laughed at him the monkey said why are you laughing other monkeys told him to look at his reflection in the river now let's discuss the cross questions related to these lines the first question is why did the monkey wish a long neck the answer is the monkey wanted a long neck to get fruits by sitting on the same branch the next question is what did the monkey wish for himself when he lost his balance the answer is the monkey wished wings for himself when he lost his balance the next question is what did the monkey do with wings the answer is the monkey flew up to the branches and then flew down the next question is who laughed at the monkey the answer is the other monkeys in the forest laughed at the monkey now let's read the last page oh the monkey was scared kids underline scared scared means afraid that's a monster he cried kids underline monster monster means ugly creature just then the fairy appeared before him kids underline appeared appeared means become that is not a monster monkey said the fairy that's you now i will explain the following lines the monkey was scared he looked like a monster just then the fairy appeared and said that is not a monster it is you now let's read the next lines but this is not what i want to be the monkey replied sadly i want to be myself kids underline replied replied means answered once again the wand in his hand went off boom there was a cloud of smoke and as it cleared the monkey was the same as even before he was very happy and decided that he would never want to be anybody else kids underline decided decided means to make a choice he threw the wand in the river now i will explain these lines monkey was sad and replied he wanted to get his look back he decided that he would never want to be anybody else now let's discuss the cross questions related to this page the first question is why did the other monkeys laugh at him the answer is the other monkeys laughed at him because he was looking like a monster the next question is why was the monkey sad the answer is the monkey was sad because he was looking ugly and he wanted to get his look back the last question is what did the monkey decide at the last the answer is the monkey decided that he would never want to be anybody else kids i hope that 
This chapter I want is clear to you now. Read this lesson again and revise word meanings also.